because next week we're going to be here to film inside stacks. We're going to go inside and we're going to come on baby, y'all can come on by and we're going to take you inside and we're going to show you what Stacks Museum is about, about music that was in our community for I don't know how many years. So we're going to go to church in Stacks. We're going to take and show you Isaac Hayes, Cadillac, a Grammy. I think he won a Grammy is in there. It's so much stuff for you to see at Stacks Museum, family. How many of you out there have ever been to Memphis? Or even if you live in Memphis, have you ever been to Stacks Museum? Jimmy, right here, said he lived in Memphis, but he's never been to Stacks Museum. So I just want to show you a part of Memphis that's just dynamic and close to our heart. This is why I had my mother's 95th birthday party at, and it was off the chain. So if you've never been to Memphis, we're going to show you Stacks Museum. If you're in Memphis and never been to Stacks Museum, we're going to still show you Stacks Museum. So I'm hoping next week at 1 o'clock Central Time that you stay tuned and tune in to Southern Girl at Stacks Museum. And we're going to give you a tour with the Director of Communication, Mr. Tim Sampson will be giving us a tour of the museum next week. We got some great shows coming to you, family. I never just wanted a cooking show by myself, standing up cooking in front of you. I always wanted a show where you was involved, and I was involved, and everybody was involved, because without you, <laughs> baby, there would be no Southern girl. So I love you. This is my shirt again that Anonymous gave me. Have no idea, still, who gave me all these t-shirts and with all the love, bam! So what does say Jan on there? I'm a September girl. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Baby, that's one of my favorite scripture. Philippians 13, uh, 4, 13. And we can, and we're going to do all things to Christ who strengthen us. Because as our senior Chester used to say every day, twice a day, he can do everything but fail. Oh, fam, it's a little bit hot out here. I'm trying to look him for you, but it's a little hot up in his air. Okay, yeah, my to pull his hat off, but you know, I don't care about something girl showing in my house. Uh, Jimmy, anybody saying anything? Uh, Nelly King says, good afternoon, BJ. Hey, home girl, what's up, Nelly? Do you hear all the calls passing by? Kathy McClendon says, uh, hello, BJ. Hey, Kathy in Memphis, Tennessee. I hope you stay tuned next week to see Stacks. Kathy, have you ever been to Stacks? Nelly, I know your daughter lives in Memphis. Has she ever brought you to Stacks Museum, no, Nelly? Because she ain't brought you to tell us any restaurant, so you better not be on Kane to Stacks Museum. Who is Jim? Anybody else? It's everyone right now. Yeah. Well, family, we just wanted to show you Stacks Museum. The hours are normally two. From 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. closed on Monday, but we'll be here next Sunday at 1 o'clock with the Director of Communication giving us a tour of the famous Stacks Museum 
and we gonna be on get our soul on because baby they got some history up in here so we love you family we hope you're having a good week hope you have a good week hope you had a good past week hope you being safe hope you feeling the love from southern girl and we just want to do some different things and in about two weeks no three weeks isn't it we'll be cooking again we're going to cook some collard greens, some turnip greens, some mustard greens, and some uh, the old-fashioned cornbread. Because Mama used to say hot water ain't no cornbread. So we got another show planned for you next week. A little something that's going to be a treat after the show from Stacks. And then that following week, October month, is for cancer survivors. And they are so special to us. We have so many people in everybody's family that is a survivor. I call them phenomenal women. So we'll have... Tawana Yarn Moore of Memphis. We'll have Anita uh, from Alabama, my cousin. And then we'll have Amela Yamoja from Memphis. And they all will be, they're all cancer survivors. And we're going to be cooking with soul with some collard greens, some turnip greens, some mustard greens, and collard greens, mustard and turnip mixed together, and some old fashioned cornbread. So if you want to learn how to cook collard greens, and greens period that's gonna be about the end of october then after then we should be doing a show with the right packages and that's to pete my girlfriend that i used to work with the Federal express that i used to drive for. so i know you hear all this noise passing by show them a little bit of the neighborhood family this is uh so this is what they call what town south memphis soulville they don't call it south memphis where it's in South Memphis, but okay. this area is Soulville. Okay, this area is Soulville that they trying to go back and revitalize. This used to be really, really a popping area. The morning on where I graduated from is not too far from here. Anybody saying anything on Instagram? No, ma'am. Okay, well, I guess you all not going with them or whatever. So, uh, we going to go get, get us some pizza because y'all don't want to say nothing. Ain't nobody still saying nothing yet? No, I don't. Let me see. Now you just be missing folks. Kimberly Robertson said hello. Hey Kimberly, you see we're going to be at Stacks Museum next Sunday at 1 o'clock Central Time. So, I guess that's it, huh? That's it for today. That's it for today. So, one of the shortest shows ever. And your Southern girl. Love you mama. Love you dad. Love you go-go. Love your family. Thank you, Tan. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you for all the birthday wishes like I told you this morning. September is almost gone, baby. So, we'll see you next Sunday at Stacks Museum in Memphis, Tennessee. Hey!